Hey everyone, hello. I hope you all are doing good. Yes. Hello Abhishek. Yes, Dhruvi. So before I, before I started the session, I was just going through your chat. I don't understand Dhruvi how I was visible and audible before we started the session. Yes. Sweta, Anita, sorry, Ritika, Shrishti. Good evening, Abhishek, Rafiq, Ahmad. I'm doing good. Thank you. Adarsh, Pavani, yes, Rajni, Dr. Adarsh, Alka Nandani, Aditya, all right, Aditya, perfectly visible and audible, absolutely, yes, Anita, Sohail, right, Srishti, Annamika, all right, all right, so I can see a new names over here today. All right, so how many of you, so you know that today we will be talking about a new chapter, basic geometrical ideas, that we will be talking about lines and angles over here, right? So I think you all have some basic idea about what a line is, what an angle is, yes? Any basic idea about this or you might have done this chapter in your school or you're learning it for the first time, quickly. Yes. Quickly, yes. Ankesh is saying this is his weak area in mathematics. Imagine and craft it coming here for the first time. I'm sure that you would love this session. Thank you, Sweta. Yes, in the evening, we all the teachers are coming live and we have an awesome surprise for you. Thank you. Learning this from, so already we have an idea. So today we are going to learn this in a little bit more depth, right? And I'm sure that you all are going to enjoy this. No, Mayank, you're not new here. <laughs> all right, so let's, let me just walk you through the flow of the session first. Like what all things we, all be, we are going to be discussing today. So we will start this session by talking about what a point is. And then we will discuss what lines are. And at the end, we will be talking about what is an angle. All right, so one by one, I'll be picking up all these topics. Yes? No, Srishti, it's not like that. It's not like that. I think almost we are coming regularly. Yes? Nirali's word. New name, yeah? Yes, Dhruv. All right, all right. So now... So for the ones who already know this because who are regularly coming for the classes, they would know it. But the ones who are coming for the first time, I'm just going to tell you about the Baiju's classes to teacher advantage. So basically the link for that is given in the description and you can try out, uh, you can take a trial class at whatever time is convenient for you and for whichever subject you want to take the trial for. And trust me, if you're liking my teaching, if you're liking the te uh, teaching of the other teachers who are taking uh, classes at this channel, I'm sure that you are going to love the app. So before you subscribe to the package, let me tell you what all things you are getting there. So live classes by two teacher advantage. As I said, it's a dual teacher model and doubt clarification sessions are there. Multiple mock tests would be taken so that we can check on your progress. And also class timings, you can choose yourself, whatever time is convenient for you. Yes. How many of you have actually checked this out? And for the ones who are new here, link is in the description. Do go check this out after this session. Yes. Thank you, Arka. Yes, Abhishek, Abhishek Chhabra, Shrishti has tried it. Swetha is saying, this is amazing. Thank you. I'm glad that you're actually liking this. I'm sure that the others who have not checked this out, you would love this too. So, so many things you're getting here. Personal attention from the teacher, one-on-one -on -one guidance from the mentor, all this as, at as low as rupees 199. It is actually that cheap. So, I would highly recommend you this. Please do check this out after the class. Thank you, Anita. Anita is saying Baiju's is amazing. Thank you. All right, all right. And next thing, the Telegram channel. I, th I hope that a lot many of you have already joined it. But the, for the ones who haven't joined it yet, link is in the description. Please do join it. So many benefits you are getting here. The session PDFs, I mean the sessions that we are doing here, the PDFs for those sessions are shared on the Telegram channel. Some revision questions, some interesting Sunday facts, some quizzes, homework questions and yes, session updates of course. All this is going to be shared here. Ankit Gaming has a premium subscription, wow. Poll questions are there, don't worry. 
Yes, you want a lot of poll questions. Yeah. Hello, Disha. Yes, thanks to all of you, Dhruv. It's because of all of you. Thank you so much. All right, all right. So I think let's get started. Yes, let's start the session. Don't worry. See, once we are done with the chapter, everything is done like from different, different books. We have covered it. We will come up with Menti. Yes. Uh, comparing quantities math session. I hope you like that, Swetha. Lots of smileys and thumbs up. I can see over here. Yes. Absolutely not, Sharfia. All right, so let's get started. So as I said, these are the three topics that I'll be discussing. So let's start off with the first one, right, which is about point. But before that, let's first understand what geometry is. So what is geometry? It's basically the branch of mathematics that actually deals with the study of points, lines, shapes and space, right? All these things, all these that you can see over here, we study about all this in the geometry, right? Yes. Yes, Anita. Sweta, I can see lots of smileys. Thank you. Yes, Dhruvi, I do remember. Grade 8. Yes. Am I correct? All right. So, this is what we see in geometry, right? We talk about a lot of shapes. We talk about lines. We talk about points. We talk about angles, right? Now, now, let's discuss about what all these things are like. What is a point first? What do you think? What is a point? Yes? Before I tell you, first you tell me. As per your knowledge, no mathematical definition. What is a point according to you? Yes? Quickly. Yes? A dot. Nice one. A dot. What else? A point is used to represent any specific location. Good thing. Right, Sweta. What else? That has no length, no breadth. Yes, Dhruv. No length, no breadth. All right. So basically, your guesses are correct. So basically, if I talk about a point, it is the most basic building block of geometry. Correct? Geometry starts from here. Yes? Correct. One dimensional. Right? Okay. No dimensions. What else? Small circle circle okay what else it makes line mark of position so it's good see I tell you one thing when I'm asking you because I want you to think first I'm making you think right so this is the actually right way to study before you're learning anything first think in your mind right so you are actually then it's a better way to relate to things now I'll remember this Dhruvi yes all right so when i talk about a point let's think about let's suppose you have a pencil right the sharper the tip of the pencil the thinner the point is going to be the thinner that dot is going to be right and that the this most i would say invisible tiny dot will give you an idea of a point right yes correct dasha i hope this is clear shrishti great six okay now I'll remember this. Yes. All right. So we have understood what a point is. Now, as you all said, that it actually helps us to determine the location. It has no dimensions. It has got no length, no breadth, no height. Correct? Yes. So we all have understood what a point is. Now moving ahead to the next point, that is lines. What do you think? What is a line? Quickly. Hi Anukriti. Yes. What is a point? First you tell me. No mathematical definition. Yes. It's okay, Disha. Rafiq is saying combination of points called a line. What else? Abhishek Chhabra. One dimension always. Yes, Dhruvi. Intersection of points in a straight line. Anita, no straight point, no ending point. A straight rod, Arka. That extends in opposite directions. Surprise, we will reveal in the evening. Yes, for that you have to join the 7pm session. Alright. 
So basically what happens when you join two points? That's simple. If I join two points, you get a line segment, right? Now let's see what the mathematical definition for a line segment is. Yes, correct. It's basically distance between the two points, right? So a line segment is formed by joining two points. See these terms, these line segment, line, ray, generally I've seen that students actually get confused with it, right? So we need to have clarity in mind about these things, right? All right, so, so this was about line segment. Now if I extend this line segment on one side, right? On one side, let's suppose if I'm extending this line segment on this side, what will happen? What do you think? What's going to happen? If I extend this in direction of B, point B, so it becomes a, it becomes a ray. Now what are rays? Absolutely. Yes, my Mayank. Right, Sveta, Dhruvi, Mayank. Yes, Dhruv. Abhishek Chhabra, Sai Raman Mishra. Yes, it is a straight line, but I've extended that only in one direction. So we call it a ray. So a ray starts at a point. This is the starting point and goes endlessly in the other direction. You can see the arrow marking, right? That means it is going endlessly in the other direction. That's what this means. Correct. One starting point, yes, Anita, but no ending point, I would say. Yes, Navya. So this is clear. So Dhruvi Ray, absolute Ray's line segment, but extended in one point, right? It is extending in one direction. Yes. Talking about, um, now let's suppose, if I extend this ray on both the sides, what do you think, what is going to happen? Quickly, if I'm extending this on both the sides, on both the sides, what is going to happen in that case? Again, we are talking about the temperature, yes? I know whether it's Rajasthan, whether it's Delhi, the situation is really bad. Yes? Correct, correct, absolutely, you all are right. A line is, will be formed in that case. So what is a line actually? It is formed if a line segment is extended endlessly in both the directions. We can see arrow marking in both the directions. So it is endlessly, um, it is extended endlessly in, in both these directions. This is clear. Everybody is clear with what line segment is, what a line is, what a ray is, right? Yes? All right. All right, so you all were asking in the beginning of the session, we want poll questions, yes? So now this is clear. So I think you all are ready for a poll question, yes? All right, so here we have a question for you. How many points are enough to fix a line? So I'm giving you 30 seconds for this, quickly. 30 seconds are good enough to answer this question, yes? Yes, Ankit Gaming 2, Mayank Yadav, Arka. Science fly, everybody is saying to. I can see that the chat is flooded with the answers. Everybody is saying to. Yes. All right. Another seven seconds, then I'll reveal the answer. Now we are saying one. How many points are needed to make a line basically? Divyani, Ankit Gaming, Rafiq, Science fly. Yes, Navya. Navya is also saying two now. Navya, are you sure? Yes, it's going to be two. Samsung Galaxy, Shristi. All right, let's check the answer. Yes, absolutely. We need two points to make a line, right? That's what we saw. If you have two points, you join them, then a line is formed. Correct. 10 seconds was good enough. And I think some of you might have, uh, uh, might have answered that in, in less than 10 seconds. All right. All right. All right. So, I hope this is clear. No confusions. Sveta, what is line? What is line segment? You have confusion. So in line segment, you would see that there are two points. One starting point, one ending point. You would see dots, right? You cannot move that in any of the directions. When you talk about a line, it can be extended in both the directions, right? Because there are arrows. So that means you can, you can extend that. Yes, Sveta, I hope your doubt is clear. Quickly, come on, thumbs up, smileys, if you are able to understand this. If you have no confusions in all these in whatever we studied till now. Wow, my young. Yes, that was a pretty simple one. Got it? Yes. So, Dhruvi, you won't get that poll in the chat. Basically, you would see the poll question on the slide and you have to respond in the chat itself. Yes. All right, all right. Lots of thumbs up, smileys, I can see here. Awesome. So, we are clear about what line segment is, what a line is and what is a ray. Let's move ahead to the next question now. So you can see 
these three things over here, right? Ray, line, line segment, I won't tell you the order. Now, we need to identify out of these, I'm talking about part one, out of these three, what is it actually showing? Is it a ray, a line or a line segment? Wow, mind map, that's nice. Yes? Ah, uh, Maya is saying, order, right in order. First one you are saying it's a line segment, yes? Correct, because two endpoints we can see over here. So, absolutely, it is a line segment. Second one, yes, Abhishek Chabra is saying, second one is going to be a line. And third one, Abhishek Kumar, second one is a line. All right. Science fly, A segment, B one is a line. Quickly, everybody, I want answers from each one of you. Rafiq Ahmed is saying, line segment, first one or second one? Ah, Rafiq, line segment, Ray. Well, you can see that both arrows are here. So, it can be extended in both the directions endlessly. That means it is a line over here. Right, Abhishek Chabra. Chabra, Abhishek. Third one, yes. Third one is going to be a ray, right? Because there is one starting point, another, another direction, it can be extended endlessly. Yes. I hope this is clear. No confusions. Quickly. Sorry, Aditya. Yes, no confusion still here. Not for this session, Dhruvi. Science project, I think for this year, science teacher should be able to help you better. No confusions. Nani, Rosie, sisters. Yes, Rishti, difference between a line and line segment. This is a line you can see. You can see the arrows. That means it can be produced in both the directions endlessly. But here, if you talk about a line segment, we have these points over here. So you cannot produce them in any of the, in either of the directions. Yes? I hope this is clear, Srishti. All right. So let's move ahead. Let's take one more example, live example to understand this. So here you can see the picture of railway track. So, what we can see here that these tracks, they never meet, right? Is it possible they can meet? No, they will never meet it because if they are meeting, how the train will run on them, yes? So, lines that do not meet, what do we call them? They are called parallel lines, yes? Parallel, yes, Aditya. I hope this, you all are aware of this term, correct? Any confusions? What are parallel lines? They will never meet, never ever. They will be running straight both the directions yes correct the lines which are maintaining the same distance throughout right between each other they are parallel lines yes all right now here we saw parallel lines but let's suppose if the, these lines are meeting at some point right what if these lines are meeting what do we call them when they are meeting we call them intersecting lines like you can see over here look at this animation right what we can see is that lines are meeting over here. Yes? Correct. Yes, tracks comes and never meet. How else can train change these tracks? Right. Intersecting lines. Right. So, we are aware of this term also. What are intersecting lines? So, we learned two terms. One is parallel lines. Another one is the intersecting lines. Moving ahead. Now, tell me, we have to find out the minimum and maximum number of points of intersection of three lines in a plane. So, minimum number of points of intersection. We have three lines. Can you tell me the minimum number of points of intersection for these three lines? Correct, uh, Aditya, right. Ladder. If you talk about a ladder, there also we have parallel lines, right? Yes. Uh, perpendicular lines. I'll, I'll come to that thing. Dhruvi, perpendicular lines are like this. Let's suppose this is one line and this is one line which is perpendicular on this. They are always forming a 90 degree angle with each other. They are perpendicular. Now we are saying 3, Ankesh Suman 1, Srishti 2, Dharmendra Kumar 3, Tejas Arka 3. Do we have answer to your question? Rafi Kehma 2. Number of points of intersection, look at these three lines. Here there, these lines cannot meet. These are parallel lines. So number of points of intersection for them is going to be 0. How can it be 2, 3 and 1? I think you were not able to understand the question. Is it so? Yes, Dhruv. Sorry. Yep. Wow, my young. That's amazing. I think you got the idea from our channel. Yes? I hope your confusion is cleared. 
I think you all got confused, right? Could not understand the question, right? That's okay. So, I have another question for you. Tejas, new here. I hope you are liking the class. Yeah? Maybe, yes. Yes, my young. So, you got the idea from here. Ayush and Adarsh creation is also new here. Yes, enjoying the class. Everybody is asking me the surprise, surprise. You want me to reveal it right now? Wait for another few hours. Yes, we will reveal it. All right. Correct. So, look at this. Now, can you tell me the maximum number of points of intersection for this? Maximum number. Yes. Correct. Dhruv is right. Yes. Ayushman. Wow. Correct. So, maximum number of points over here is going to be 3. You all are right. Yes, Aditya, it's go how can it be 1? See, maximum point of intersection 1 over here, over here, over here. That's 3. It's clearly evident, right? Yes, Abhishek, Tejas, Arka, Rosie sisters, minimum would be 3, right? Maximum we can see here. More than this cannot happen, right? There can't be more intersection points than 3. Dhruva, I hope you understood. Yes. Ayush, Adarsh, creation. Super easy, right? No confusions, yes? Shall we move ahead? Super duper easy, right? How many minimums? Srishti, so I, if I give you three lines, like in the previous slide, I gave you three lines. I asked you, Minimum number of points of intersection, the least they can intersect. You would say that's going to be zero. If I if I talk about the least, right? Correct. Yes. All right. Let's move ahead. So till now we talked about points, we talked about lines. Now we will be talking about about angles. Yes. So what is an angle? Quickly. Concurrent lines. Yes, Dhruv. Yes. Any idea what is an angle? Come on, you would have some rough idea what an angle is. When two rays are meeting, what else? Yes. Triangular diagram used to measure. An angle is formed when two rays are joined together. Yes. Good try. Right. You were very close. When two lines are meeting at a common point, then angle is formed. Yes. Triangle or tacos. Good example. Right. So, see, you can relate this, this also to, to the real life things. Correct. When lines are intersecting. So, here you can see that. Yes, Ankesh. Lines are intersecting over here. So, here we can see that the angle is formed here. Angle is formed here as well. Angle is formed here as well and here as well. Right. So, angle is formed basically when two rays are meeting at a common point. Right. Dotted toes. Yes. Yes, Vita. So, I could understand that, what you meant. So, common point has to be there. So, now I would say that what is a vertex? Vertex is basically the common end point from where the two rays are basically originating or where the two rays are actually meeting. So, I would say the vertex of an angle is the common end point of two rays that forms an angle. So, this T over here, this is the vertex for this angle. Yes? Yes, that is a joint of two rays. Any doubts? Quickly, come on. I hope this is clear to everything. Yes, that's the main point. Yes, Arka. Chitra Shridharan, yes. I can see a lot of new names over here today. No doubt? Yes, Trishti, please ask whatever doubt you have. Ayush, no. Ayushman, no. Chitra, no doubts. Shweta, clear. Crystal, clear. Yes, Dhruv, Aditya, Rafiq Ahmad, no doubts. Ananya, all right. You, you all are using different names, so I have to remember a lot of names here. Yes, exams are finished. Super easy, all right. So, now if I ask you, if I ask you to name this angle, how can we name this angle? How do we name an angle? Any idea? See, this is the point. 
Yes, where angle is formed actually, angle is formed here also, here also, here also, here as well, right? Let's say, I, I, I don't want to confuse you here, let's suppose this is the angle I'm talking about. How would I name this angle? I can simply say it is angle T or to be more specific, it is formed with these two rays, right? When Where these two rays are meeting. I can say that it is angle Q, T, S or S, T, Q. T has to be in the middle because this is the main angle that we are talking about. Yes? Correct. So, vertex is there and arms are there. Yes. Angle QTS, angle T. Correct, uh, Dhruv. So, that's what I said. To be more specific, we have to mention like this. So, four angles are there. Absolutely, Sveta. We can see four angles over here. Yes. Shrishti, crystal clear. All right. This is clear to everyone. Quickly, thumbs up, smileys or whatever emojis you like. Please, post in the chat section so that I can understand and I can move ahead. Yes, now we are right. This angle QTS. So, you are aware of the type of angles also. That's forming an acute angle. They just, yes, lots of thumbs up, smileys, lots of emojis I can see over here. See, if you feel that these sessions are actually helpful for you, you actually find them beneficial, please share it with your friends and your, within your school groups as well. Yes, because it's absolutely free of cost, right? So, free may have to, doesn't, doesn't really matter. Anybody can watch that. Anybody can take the advantage of this. You know about the all types of angles. That's amazing. All right, all right. Yes, Aditya, please do that. In case you have shared, that's amazing. Let others also take the benefit of it. Yes? Awesome, all right. So now let's talk about the arms of an angle. Like you said that ma'am, an angle is formed where there is a vertex and there are two rays, right? Those two rays where, which were meeting actually at a common point, they were forming an angle. And those two rays are nothing but these are called the arms of the angle. If I talk about this angle QTS, here this QT and this TS, these are the arms over here. Yes? Yes, Tejas, please do that. Thank you, Sveta. Yes? So, an angle is formed by two rays with a common endpoint. So, each ray is called the arm of the angle. So, now we have understood that we will call those rays which are meeting at a common point, right? We will call those rays what? We will call them arms of the angle. Yes? Navya knows about a lot of angles. Angle PTR, yes? Yes, Aditya, angle PTR, you're talking about this angle. So, here also the main angle is T, but we can name it as angle PTR. If I talk about the arms of this angle, good question, Abhishek. If I talk about the arms of this angle, what the arms are going to be? Can anybody answer the arms for this angle PTR? Yes, because you said that when four angles are formed over here. So, if I talk about this one, all right, Rahul. Honestly, I have to remember a lot many names because you all are using different names over here. Yes, PT and P, PT and how can PR be? I think you, that was a typing error. PT and TR, yes, because this is, this is PT and this is TR. There is no PR in the figure, not P and R. See, when you, when we talk about the arms, right, a arm is formed with two letters. TQ and TS, that's done, Srishti. I'm talking about this angle PTR. What are the arms for this? PT and PR can't be the answer. PT and TR we can say. Yes, this is PT and this is TR. Right. Yes, Dhruv. PT and TR. Rafiq, two arms. How is PR possible? PR is here. How can you say PR? Observe this carefully. PT and RT. Yes, Anshuman. Ayushman. Sorry, if I... If I addressed you with the wrong name, because your names obviously, you're using different names. PT and PR. PR can't be, yes. PT and TR. So, this is clear, right? How do we check the arms? How to check the vertex? Quickly, yes? Alright, let's move ahead to the next thing. So, we talked about the vertex, we talked about the arms. Now, we will talk about the interior of an angle. Let me show you an example. Take a look at this, the light of this torch, right? Now, if you look at the light part, right? So, Tejas' arms are basically these, if I talk about this angle over here, this is angle PQR, right? So, what are the arms here? The arms over here are which are forming this angle, the two rays which are meeting, yes. So, that is PQ and QR. 
PQ and QR are going to be the arms. What is the gift? For that you have to join the session at 7 p.m. Yes? Yes, the light part that you can see over here, that's showing us the interior. Yes? So if I talk about this, the portion that is common to both shadings is called the interior of the angle. Let me tell you, if I talk about this point X, I would say that this point X is in the interior of the angle. If I talk about this Z, this is in the exterior, right? If I talk about this S, it is lying on the angle PQR. Correct. Correct, Aditya. Sabra ka fal meetha hota hai. So, please wait. Have patience. No hints. No, Rahul. I cannot give any hint right now. Yes. Yes, you keep guessing. You keep guessing what is, is it going to be. So, yes, this is the boundary of this angle, right? So, it is lying on the angle, I would say. This is in the interior, inside, and this is in the exterior. Yes? Call the angle in one ray. With one ray, angle can't be formed. See, this is the basic requirement. For an angle to be formed, you would require two rays. Yes. What is S? S is basically a point which is lying on the angle. Right? I hope this is clear. Sweta, yes, S is lying on the angle. Inside one is the interior, yes, genius facts. Outside one is the exterior angle. Yes, Arka, which point? So we are talking about the interior of this angle. This is the angle I am talking about, PQR. This is all the interior, the light part. So here X is basically the interior, is in the interior. This Z is in the exterior. Exterior means which is outside. And this S over here is lying on the angle. Yes? Ma'am, what if we, what will we call alphabet in one line? Uh, I an angle. I'm not able to understand the question. Uh, alphabet in one line. Can you please rephrase your question? Yes. Uh, keep guessing. Uh, all right. Yes, your mind is more on the gift side rather focusing on the session. An exterior, why is it not on the upper side of portion? So, exterior could be anything. Arka, don't get confused. Exterior means whatever is not inside, that is exterior. Whatever is not lying on the angle, that is exterior. This all you can see over here, over here, this is the exterior. Let's suppose if Z is here, still I will say that this is in the exterior. Yes? Um, any questions? So, Rahul, yes, Rahul, one ray angle, an angle is formed only when there are two rays. When two rays are intersecting at a common point, only then an angle is formed. Otherwise, angle is not formed. You cannot call it an angle in that case. Yes. Ayushman, 7 p.m. No doubts? Now clear? Yes, Arka, Chitra, Sweta, no doubts. Uh, Tejas, all right. Got this concept. We will soon come up with Menti. Don't worry. All right. So now that you have understood the concept, let's try answering a question so that you will get a better understanding about it. Yes, let's move ahead. Name the angles marked in the given figure. You can see the angles marked over here. So I'm just highlighting it because it's marked with this light orange color. This angle we are talking about. This angle, you have to name these angles. Now we know how to name the angles, right? Quickly, tell me what the answer is going to be. Um, yes, Aditya is saying it's angle OCD. Okay, one angle is here, that's angle OCD. What else? Just started, it's okay. Take your time. Science Fly is saying it's going to be AOB. Science Fly, uh, see the arrows carefully. It's from here till here. Right? The arrow is a little big. Sweta is saying A, B, O, A, O, E, 
Yes, Sweta has answered another angle. This is AOE, correct? AOE, right? OCD, sorry, sorry, sorry. O is here. Sorry, I made a mistake here. You can, you can say DOC or COD. O has to be in the middle because we are talking about angle O. Yes? Uh, yes, Dhruv. DOC or COD, same thing. AOC, yes. AOC we can say or COA and AOE. Correct, absolutely. Yes, Rahul. AOB, AOB. AOB is an angle here, but if you look at the arrows, arrow starts from here till here. So it is between these two rays. Look at the arrows carefully. That's going to be AOC or COA angle. COB. COB is an angle, you are right. But here we have just have to name the angles which are already marked. So this is marked from here till here. It's a big angle, right? It's a larger one. So it's AOC or either COA. BO is correct, Sai Raman Mishra, but if you talk about what the angles are marked over here, we just have to answer them. Yes? Aditya? Understood? Dhruv? Yes? OAC. We cannot say OAC. O has to be in the middle because angle is actually O. It's the basically a, a other way to, uh, to represent it. Yes, a straight angle is also here. You can say that's angle EOB or BOE. Right, Rahul? Easy peasy angle, easy. Yes. Aditya. Rafiq Ahmed. Tejas. Shristi, crystal clear. No confusions in naming the angles. That's okay, Rakesh. Almost entire session you have missed, but it's okay. You can watch the recorded session later. Yes. Ayushman. Did not understand. So here, if you look at the markings, Okay, if I do not talk about the markings, how many angles are formed? You would say it's angle AOE, right? You would say it's angle DOE, O has to be in the middle. You would say it's COD, it's COB or BOC, same thing, but O has to be in the middle and AOB, right? But if I ask you, only three arrows you can see over here, right? Name according to that. So this is angle AOE till here. Look at this arrow, look at this arrow. This is angle DOC or angle COD. Right? And if I look at this arrow, the bigger one, it starts from here till here. This is angle AOC or angle COA. Any doubts? Yes, I saw that you changed your ID's name. And that's better. So that I don't have to remember. Otherwise, I'll remember two names every time. Yes, Srishti, uh, Rahul. Yes, we make use of protractors to make angles. And it can be made using compass also. But that is specific angles can be drawn using a compass. Yes? Ayushman, any doubts? Now you are feeling confident. Wow. That's nice. Yes, the middle point of an angle should be in the middle. I mean the main point of the angle should be in the middle. Yes, genius facts. How are you able to measure this? Dhruv. Yes? Are you keeping the protractor on the screen and measuring it? Is that so? Yes, Rishti. Aradhya. So basically, 180 degrees is a straight angle, right? So one ray extending, you can say that like this. It's straight angle here is it's formed. You can see that. This BOE and EOB. Wow. So much confident, I can see. Now you are... Yes. Yes, Dhruv. Lot of experience. Wow. Yes, Pavani. I hope this is clear to everyone. Uh, all right. All right. So I think this concept is clear. So let's try out a question. So now as you can see on the screen, it's a poll question. Let's see what the question is. All right. So which of the following has two endpoints? So I'm giving you 30 seconds for this. Quickly answer this. Yes, Pavani, Aditya, Rafiq, Ahmad, Tejas. Whole session is clear. Wow. Dhruv, quickly, everybody is saying it's C line segments. Wow. You did not even take half of the time to answer this. Wow, you all are pro now, I can say, in this topic. Yes? Abhishek Chhabra, first one to answer. Science Fly is saying, I was the first one. See, it doesn't matter who whomsoever answered first. The idea is that you are able to understand the concept. You are able to apply that knowledge on the questions, yes? 
and that is correct also, so that is the best part. Now Dhruv is saying I was the first one, it is okay. Alright, let us check the answer, you all are correct, that is the line segment. So whatever we have learned today, it is I think this is crystal clear to everyone, yes quickly thumbs up, smileys, if you have understood all, all the concepts that we have discussed. See, rank does not matter, it is okay. Yes? Do not worry, Sweta, that day will come soon. Yes? Ankesh Suman, Mukesh, Crystal Clear, Rosie Sisters, Dhruv, Shrishti. Yes? Iswar, V, Satwana, Dhruv, Rakesh. Helpful in real life as well. Obviously, you can relate these topics to the real life examples as well. All right, so homework time for you now. Take a look at this. How many lines can pass through the given point? So you can let me know the answers in the comment section after this class. And yes, in the next class, I will call out the names whomsoever has answered to these questions. Yes, so this time I want each one of you to answer this. Yes, all right, all right. And I think we've already talked about this, but for the students who join late and who are new over here, the link is there in the description. This is about the Baidu's classes to teacher advantage. Link is in the description. Please do go check that out. And so many benefits you are getting here. Yes. So don't worry, we have got you covered. So many sessions we have lined up for you from every Monday to Friday to make you exam ready. And I hope everybody has joined the Telegram channel. Yes, link is in the description. Please do join it if you haven't yet. And free trial class link is there in the description. Don't forget to check that out. And if you are liking the session, please hit the like button. Quickly, quickly. Yes. And do share it in your, in your school groups, with your friends, with your neighbors, whomsoever you feel that it's going to help them. Please do share it. And please do subscribe the channel if you haven't yet. Because I do not want you to miss any new updates from us. All right, all right. Thank you, Aditya. Have a great day. Take care. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.